Hey everyone, we had uh, our first American Falls Bible study last night, and it was awesome. It was it was so good, and we had a good group of people there. But before I get into talking about what we discussed and the things we learned together, I have to tell you that while it was awesome, it seemed like someone was missing. And so I have to ask, was it you? Was it you who we really needed there who could have come and learned from us but also taught us? Were were you needed and not there? If it was you, if you're thinking that maybe this is something you might want to do, we would surely encourage you to come. We'll continue this next Thursday at 6.30 over at the building of Willow Bay Baptist Church in American Falls. As we begin our study of John, we the first thing we noticed is that John is writing in order that he might define God. He wanted us to know who his God is, because his God is our God. So as we begin to look at what John said, one of our participants said, hey, but we need to test John. We need to know if John is telling us the truth. Now, I'm not suggesting that he's not, but still we are required to test. And he pointed to Acts 17, 11, the Bereans who tested everything. And so we did exactly what the Bereans did, the thing that made the Bereans noble among the followers of Christ. We turn to Genesis 1, and there we found this same God who was in the beginning. The, the evidence is clear that no matter how far you go back in time, anywhere you go back in the past, God was already there because God is infinite. God was in the beginning. We turned to Hebrews 13, 8. We found that God is never changing. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so we talked a little bit about false gods that people come up with. In their own mind, they come up with these crazy gods. And they're just not true. And so that led us to Deuteronomy 13. What about people that would say, hey, Come on, let's go after this other God, this God that our fathers haven't known, this God that we've made up in our own head, this this God that we created because we want a God that we can like. And we found out that anyone who goes after another God is worthy of death. We had a long discussion on verses 4 through 9. You see, Jesus, it says in verse 4, is the light of men. Jesus is the light. The light is good. There's light and darkness in the world, and light always overcomes that which is dark. And the darkness never overcomes the light. But we discovered also that that Jesus is the light of man and that he lights every man. And this is really a a wonderful thing. This, This light that Jesus puts in us, it It gives us our conscience. It gives us this sense of what's right and what's wrong. And every man has that. But I was wondering, you know, what what do we do with that now? We have this light that we claim comes from Jesus. What do we do with that? I was reading today uh, about the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew, and I ran across a passage that answered that question. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, you are the light of the world. And then he went on and he said, what are you to do with that light? Are you to put it under a bushel? Are you to hide it where no one will see it? Or are you to lift it up, lift it up high so that everyone who sees you sees God in you and that that would bring glory to God, that it would glorify God. And so I would just say, what are we to do with this light? Today is the day. I I can't tell you what you should do or what you ought to do or how you should do it, but I can suggest to you that today is the day that you would let the light of God shine through you, through the, the kind things you do, through the things you say, through the way you love people and care for people, whatever it is, however it is, whatever God leads you to do, today is the day to let the light of God be seen through you that he might be glorified. And I will just point out one last thing. When you are saved, when you are born again, when you become a child 
of God. He is glorified. So it's not just for what you would do for others, but it's what you do for yourself. When you open your mouth, open your life, and share God everywhere you go. Hey, everybody, have a great day, and I hope to see you next Thursday at uh, the Willow Bay Baptist Building in American Falls. We'll start at 630.